This is my nephew Mark and my niece Lenora. Yeah, I think I'd be changing my pants. We have such a hard time perceiving any person doing what they just did. Look at the sheer terror in her eyes. Uh-huh. And what did she say when she got off the ride? Again, again. <laughs> Number five. Do they still do the Olin Mills family picture portraits? Yeah. Uh, this is our family picture in 1993. Is that a mullet? Moving on. Number six. A friend of mine who works at NASA sent me a creative perspective on a shuttle launch. Remember the space shuttle? A long time ago. Number seven. So here's a twist on the little red wagon. Mm-hmm. Even the old radio flyer isn't safe from the creative process. Number eight. Are you too old to drive this car? It's the Mercedes SCL 600. Ooh. There's one big difference. It has a joystick instead of a steering wheel. Number nine. Now, how many of you would have guessed that the world's first high-performance electric motorcycle would look like this? This is the application of imagination, and notice the super geek who invented it. Not very polished, is he? Looks a lot like the 15-year-old running your media department, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. Number 10. I play drums, and I love drums, but when I saw Terry Bazio's drum set, it opened my mind to a whole new perspective on the possibilities. So the mantra for creativity is no fresh stimulus in, no new ideas out. So I can't stress enough how important it is to constantly be immersed in new ideas. One resource is to go to the show Inspiration in a Box, held monthly by Mr. Lee Kitchen and Sean Brown on the Twitch platform. There's a link in the bio for their program, warning, <clears throat> this is not Christian programming, but I know and trust a lot of Christians who love this program. Okay? All right. Okay, so the exercises are over. Are you tired? Well, that was fun! That's the addictive nature of creating. Stretching your brain is fun work. Seriously, one of the strongest warnings I give about starting the creative process is that it is a series of press-through experiences. And by that, I basically mean that you have to come to the end of you before you come up with new. Mm -hmm. It may take some time to get to the end of you, right? All the cool stuff you've done, all the ideas you've had in the past, everything that worked. Once you get all that out of the way, the new will surprise you. Now you need tools to break you out of the struggle. After all, Einstein once said that the significant problems we face cannot be solved at the same level of thinking we were at when we created them. Creative breakthroughs can be difficult, but I'm telling you folks, they are very rewarding. So let me paraphrase one of my favorite British mantras saying, Ha ha! Keep calm and press on! Roll it! Next time on Creative Thought Design. So we're continuing with the exploration of the four building blocks of creativity. Number one, where are you creating? Number two, what is your process? Number three, how do you learn best? And number four, what could be hindering your creative process? Mm -hmm.